welcome back my peace <clears throat> today i'm gonna do something really quick but cute and you can make this in a bunch of varieties like it's gonna be this little tiny sunday i did a reel on it um actually like a little waffle cup con what? a little waffle bowl oh my goodness gotta start off <laughs> with the nonsense but anyway I'm going to show you how I did this. It's very cute. You can put this on tear trays. You can put it on book stacks. Whatever. And you can do a bunch of different styles too. So that's what I like about it. It's pretty versatile. So what you're going to need, of course, is some clay. So I got my, my famous... Um, white clay that I colored with classic caramel apple barrel classic caramel to look like cookie dough that's how I did this one and then I dry brushed it with classic caramel so it looks like a like a cone but if you have cookie butter um clay you can use that look I made some green ones like if you wanted to make a little watermelon sundae and I also made a chocolate one which is what we're going to use today because I'm going to make like a s'mores one okay so you can make these whatever color you want but I'm going to do I want to try to get this you know again but I already have the one I'm going to use um, ready so we're just going to get to it so, I'm going to move these over here. Keep my little sundae right there. So, got my clay. Make sure you condition it always. Got my two sticks, which is two can of stick. Don't worry about this. That's uh, dry clay. Can't get it off of there. I tried scraping it. It wouldn't come off. It want to live there, so I'm going to let it live there. So, I'm going to use a texture mat on this. So I'm going to be using a texture mat, but you don't have to use this texture mat. I, even though I got this from Annie's Treasure, I'll leave a link to it if you want it, if you're interested in this. But you can also use a piece of this um, rug underlay from Dollar Tree. And it has like these square pack pack patterns. Ugh. And you could just roll it out like that. Like you don't have to have all the same things I have. You can make it low budget and very um like a cost savings. You don't have to have the same things I have, but I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna just press it. Everybody does this a different way. This is how I do it. This is what works for me. So, now, for this, I used like a flower shaped cookie cutter. As you can see, it has like the. Now, you don't have to have a flower shaped cutter. You can use a round cutter, which is what I did. But this is the cutter that I used. Now, this cutter, I could post a link to it. It comes like this, right? Because I'm going to show you what it is. And it comes with a little pusher. But I'm going to just cut my cookie. My cookie. My little waffle bowl. Out of that. And. Um, this is what it's going to look like, right? And now. How I got the bowl shape. I used a cupcake container, not a cupcake, a cupcake pan, tin. This is plastic, but you could use your metal one. You use what you have, okay? And I just, now make sure you kind of really center it. And then all I did was push this down like that. Now make sure you get the whole bowl. Don't push too hard, but you're going to take the 
the pattern off. You don't want that. And then you just leave it there to dry until the next day or whatever, okay? Just leave it alone. Don't touch it. And then I have one over here, which I did with a regular cookie, like this cutter. I use this cutter. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to have a flower shape cutter. You can use a round one if you want. So then I had left this here for a while. And then when it's, it's still going to be wet because the underside is going to be wet. But look, now you have like a little tart or a pie or whatever you want to make with it. Okay. See how it looks. I'm going to leave it, put it back. I just wanted to show you guys. So that's how that part gets done, okay? And you just let that dry. Let it sit there. And then you're going to get something like this. This is fully dry. And I'm going to make, um, I'm going to do like a, um, a s'mores, a little s'more sundae. So, now. I'm using a mold to get my ice cream scoop. This is my ice cream scoop. Okay? It came out of a mold. Now, I know you can make a mold with spackle. If you have spackle and that's what you want to do, you can go ahead and do that. I have a tutorial on how that was done. I don't. It's not a standalone tutorial, but I can link it. Maybe one day I'll do a standalone. But... You guys that have been fake baking for a while know that spackle prices are like out of control. It's very expensive right now. It used to be very cheap. I don't know if they got on to us or what. But that's why I told you guys that I'm going to start trying to do a lot more with clay. Because you get a big bag of clay for like from, from $10, $12, $15 maybe. And you can do a lot of things with that, right? Spackle costs like $50 now. So, mm, so if you guys want, I can link this mold. You don't have to use a mold. I'll show you guys plenty of times how to make um how to make a scoop. You just roll a ball. Let's do a quick one right here. I got this little bit of um clay. So you're just gonna roll a ball, right? And then you're going to just put it down. Like, don't, like, you don't want it to be too flat. You want it to have this roundness. You see the roundness at the top. Then you could take enough. Like, at this point, you can make your edges right with this. But if you want, you can roll, make, like, roll a log, roll a worm. And just go around the cone, I mean, the scoop like that. You see it's starting to look like a... Now you got to make it to fit inside of here. This is just an example of how to do it. But this is way too much clay. And um, that's not what you want, okay? So I'm looking for a texture, something to texture with. And make sure you get the uh, edges to hit. Like you just want to make, you know, your little ice cream. I'm gonna post a link to the way, to the um to the scoop I've done before. But anyway, that's kind of like what a scoop would look like. Okay. Like I said, I'll post a link to the one that we've done before. So. And I will post a link to this scoop of ice cream. Now, when you get this mold, it's easy to fill up, but it's very it's a very soft mold. So you're gonna have to put this in the freezer. Okay, you're gonna have to put it in the freezer for like 10, 15 minutes, maybe even longer. I usually just leave it overnight and pop it out in the morning and let it um throw out because it's gonna sweat and it's gonna have condensation on it so you need to let it sit for a while to get back to room temperature before you handle it okay but this is a lifesaver i've made look pink this is like a graham cracker color i've done 
white. And this scoop comes with uh, what you call this part on the outside. And it comes without it. I don't have one with me right now. Let me see if I have one with me. I don't. But there's two different types you can get. If you just want the scoop part without this rim, you could get that. Anyways, let's go. So for this, I'm just I'm just gonna put a little bit of tacky glue to hold my um to hold my scoop. I'm gonna spread it around my finger a little bit. And like I said, this is like this. If you guys need clay, hit up my girl Yanita from Designs by Yanita. She'll get you hooked up. So I'm just gonna put that in there like that. You see how cute that looks? Look at that ice cream. It's it's like the perfect size for this. And these scoops you can use it to make Sundays. Um, oh goodness, a uh, a uh, uh, cookie. Um. A la mold, brownies a la mold. This is a great, great mold. I love it. So, anyways, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna just put some cream, like fake, uh, fake, fake, like a drizzle or whatever, a drip. And you can use this if you have it. But I want it to like flow even more. So I'm using our homemade, I'm going back to the old basics, homemade. This is cork, Mod Podge, and white paint. And this is what I'm looking for, this consistency of my drip. Okay, this one is good, but it's kind of stiff and I just want it to like drip down. So I'm just going to use this because... I like it. So I'm going to use this to hold that so I can pour my drip in there. Yeah, I don't need a lot because this is a pretty small sundae. So I'm not going to use a lot. Cover that back up because you can use it later. So I hope I took out enough because I'll be like, I don't want to use a lot. And then I end up using less than what I I mean, pouring out less than what I really need. All right, let me cut this. Now, remember, I always say, when you're going to do a drip, make sure that you um make the smallest hole you can make because this stuff is very runny, and we don't we want to be able to control it. And if you make the hole too big, you can't control it. Yeah, I'm about to make this hole too big. Can't even cut it with these scissors. What in the world? Always oh, making me look like a fool. All right. So I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna go around like this. Cause right, this is a s'mores, and it should have marshmallow. Uh, graham cracker, which is the ice cream color, even though I don't know. Maybe I should have did this show. <sighs> graham cracker. You could, but I didn't make a show like this in the graham cracker color. So I'm going with what I got. But that would be ideal, right? But you know me. Always got to be a little backwards. So I made this little sprinkle mix it has some brown some beiges and some white sprinkles and diamond dots that's what's in here diamond dots so i'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit this is a very basic sunday you can jazz it up however you want i'm just you know you guys i always just show you the basics and then you guys tag me in pictures online and on my Facebook page and all that good stuff. And I'm like, Lord, they went out. You guys always do so much better than I do. And that's fine. And I love it. 
So, I have a little piece of, this little piece of chocolate. It's from a mold. I'm going to cut it in half because it's kind of too big to be there by itself. And I got a little piece of watermelon. What did I do with my water? Here go. Hold on. I got a little watermelon. Watermelon. What am I talking about? Watermelon. <sighs> my brain is going crazy. And I got this little tiny graham cracker, right? And I'm going to cut the graham cracker like this. And then I'm going to cut it again like this. And I'm going to try to stick it in there like that. And I'm going to stick a marshmallow in there like that. And I'm going to try to put this candy bar. See if I could. Like. So that you know. That is a s'mores. Sunday. You see the little cute. It has the graham cracker. A marshmallow and a chocolate. A piece of chocolate on there. And if you want. You can add. Sauce to the bottom. Which I should because it's like. You got like a little space there. It's moving around because I'm not going to do that because then I'm going to overdo it. And then I'm going to be like, why did I do that? But you could always put some sprinkle. I always call it sprinkle glitter and make it even better. Guys, look at how cute this thing is. This little s'more sundae. Like I said, you could put... um. Some white dripping on the bottom. But mine is still wet and it's still moving around. So I kind of don't want to touch it. But look. Look how cute. Right? That's that one. And like if you wanted to do a, a watermelon one. You get you a, make you a green little mini cone. Put a pink ice cream in there you could put a white drip and then put some black seeds got your cute little sundae but that's what i got for you guys today i hope you guys like it and you make you got make you some cute mini sundaes oh, i like to clean up the spot before I let you guys go. These are the Sundays. And the possibilities for these little Sundays are endless. Truly endless. Like I said, if you don't have a, a flower shape cutter, you can just use a regular round cutter. Or what else could you use? Basically a... A flower cutter. You can find one of those flower cutters. I seen them at Walmart for like 99 cents. In the baking aisle. Or you can order it online. I will post links to everything so you guys can get. If you want the cutter I use, I'll post a link to that. If you want just a basic flower cutter, I will post a link to that. But it's totally up to you. How you um, want to go about making yours. Okay. But it's very easy. And like I said. If you don't have this. You can make tarts with the round cutter. Child, you can make so many cute little pies and stuff. Guys. I know I've been MIA. But I really just needed to take a break. But I'm going to work my way back. Because I really miss doing this. But. Please. Like this video, comment, share, post it in your uh, craft groups, hook a sister up, look out for me, you know, and let my algorithm and my page keep growing. I would really appreciate that. I'm not going to give up on crafting. I'm always going to be here crafting, doing some things. And actually, I'm thinking about starting doing more lives on here. I don't have a schedule yet. But I am working on it. And you know what? I might just pop up at any time and do a live. So be alert. Have those notifications on. Because I'm really thinking about doing that seriously. 
okay i'm gonna be going live i'm I'm working on going live here and on facebook at the same time but for some reason i'm having issues but i'm trying to resolve those issues because i really want to go live whenever i feel like it okay so anyway guys i know i've been babbling 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 and some of you guys don't like it and some of you guys it doesn't really matter at all you don't care you love me anyways but <laughs> You guys stay safe, stay healthy, and keep crafting. And I'll see you in the next video, which may be sooner than you think. All right, guys. God bless you. Bye.